Hello guys, we're back. And it's me again. But as you can see, I'm not doing uh, Batman. But as you can see, it's the five Dinozords. Yep, from season one of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Because back in the day, I did have this set. And it was plastic. But they re released it in the legacy version. And uh, I got it in the mail today. Here it is. So... Here are the five Dinozords, as we all know them. Pterodactyl. I can't fit them all, I can fit them all on, but I just want to do them all my one. Next is Triceratops, as we know and love. Nice blue one. We have Sabertooth Tiger. We have Mastodon, or do you want to prefer Mammoth, either way. And of course, the big daddy, Tyrannosaurus. They have a nice chrome. That's all. That is not. It's actual metal. It's really heavy. They have nice sticker detailing. The stickers are all applied. You don't need to do any work. Mouth does open and close. There is a fire a frame for a sticker inside there. Can't see it well, but it is in there. As for as for Tyrannosaurus, that's all. Stick it up. The head is the metal piece. The metal piece is on the tail, of course. They have a nice gun on the back. Save the tooth tiger. Same deal. That's meant to be a gun, which is the same as the Triceratops metal piece there. The fangs are not like metal, but they are in a shiny. T in a shiny silver like the Triceratops' horns. The Mastodon has the most weight to it. I think, yeah, the mo more, it feels more heavier than him. And the my other one, before we moved here, had a black head. This one has a grey. And the Power Sword is not plant, not the original was rubber, and you could bend it and stuff. It wasn't good, but this is actual. It feels like a fork when you drop it. But it's actual nice chromed. So you can see it shine. So let's get on with the transformation to tank mode. Yep. Yeah. So to, do, to, do, to go to tank mode, we're going to take the Tyrannosaurus here. Sorry, I'm standing up. I pull it in one point. One joint here. And... One click there. Make sure he's standing up, yeah. So fold up the little arms, the T-Rex, and depeg the tail, which has nice stickering, the original didn't. Oh, keep the head down from there. We'll put them aside. Next we'll take the ma Mastodon, which is over here. And what we're gonna do to him is we're gonna yank his head off, which will become useful for later. Now we're going to take him, his, sh his front pieces and flip them up. And then you're going to lift up his back legs all the way up. And we're going to fold that out. Take that back. Now there's some clips on the back which he can fit onto. And there are pegs inside in them, so he can attach to it. There we go. Click on the side. Now you can use the Zord Builder port system to switch the arms around, but I don't bother doing that. This is metal too. If you're wondering, yeah. And now that's done, we can take the tail and clip it onto the Mastodon's back. And... Uh, that's done so far. Next, we'll take the two medium zords. First, that's my uh, laptop just there, if you hear anything. And we'll take here, take Sabretooth. And I like to rotate her fang. We ha you have to rotate her fangs, but you can do them any direction. I do it like that, because it's nice and sleek. And you take the front legs and do it like that. Same on the other side. Take the tail, clip it in. 
take the back legs and insert them in that slot. So it's like a nice little vehicle thing. Next we take 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 the triceratops, straighten his hair, and uh, don't blink. Keep your tight. This is the big transformation. And boom, done. That's it. So we just take. There are two port two plugs here, and it's important you get it on the right side. And there's a hole there. Click it on there, and click the other one on there. I need to back it up a bit. There. Now we're going to take the uh, mammoth head. There's a little cl click plug there. You're going to click it on. That is a lot. We need to get on right. There we go. And we're going to, we're going to try and get the head and fold it in. Yeah, like that. That's how I put it. And now we'll take pterodactyl, take off these, show them, there, take off those, take them aside. Now what, I took a, take a look on Google Images, and how you're meant to do it is, you're meant to just fold the wings back and that's it. Now we just click them on, straighten the head, there you go. Attach the guns, which are the feet of the Ceredactyl. Attach those pieces back on. And you have tank mode. You need to back it up. There you go. Nice and done. Now we can go to the Megazord transformation. We'll take off the Ceredactyl. Take off the guns. The gun little pieces of the Ceredactyl. Now you're going to rotate the fists to become, rotate the feet to become fists. Take off the uh, mammoth head. Take that aside. Now we're going to straighten out the legs. Same on the other side. Fold all that leg in. Hold the T-Rex leg in. Straighten it out. Fold up the head and fold up the front two legs. Now we're gonna take the camera and put it up a bit. There we go. Now we're gonna take the arms, fold them down. The tails clicked in. There's the T Rex. We're gonna take the chest plate, fold that down. Take the T Rex head, fold that in, close that up. There's the Megazord head. And we're going to take the pterodactyl again. We're going to open up the wings. We're going to take her head, fold that in, fold in the wings. It's going to become a nice chest plate. Click it on, like so. Fall up the side, do lolly horns. And now we're going to take these little pieces, go to the back. There are two holes for them to store into. Oh my god, that went flying, didn't it? So anyway, you take the other ones away, and uh, there you go. Oh, can't see much. Yeah, you can't see much because the chest plate's so big and dominating. But I'll zoom my camera up so you can have a better look at the head in a minute. Anyway, you're gonna take the shield, and there's your use the same port to become the shield, of course. Uh-huh, there you go. Here's the shield. Now for the sword again. We can now store it in his other hand. There you go. And like I said I would do, I'm going to show you the Megazord's head. Get a nice close up. There, nice head. I'm going to show you a bit of it. That's just my pet, my toy monkey. And, uh, you can see a lot of good detailing all around it. It's lovely. And I'm going to show you the last thing, the box. So I'll take the Megazord away and put that aside. It's pretty heavy. I'll take Uh-huh. Got the five dinosaurs down there. 
picture of the Megazord, Power Rangers, Mind Morphin, 15 and over, this is not a toy, this is a collector's item, Go. you can scroll on to the side here, read the story, pause, about the uh, back, also in the line of the Dragon Zord and Titanus, you can make the Ultra Zord, all that fun stuff, stats of the Megazord, and uh, Secrets of the Power Rangers, read that if you want, no, Secrets of the Power Zord, sorry, read that. So, all's good. So take that aside, like so, and I'm going to reinsert the camera here. Bring back the Megazord, of course. Uh -huh. So that was our, my review of the Mighty Morphin, or shall I professional name, the Dino Megazord, Legacy, or oh. The Legacy Megazord. Legacy Megazord, Dino Megazord, Mighty Morphin. You pick one. But that's my memory of the uh, Legacy Megazord. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we're going to get the black and gold, all the other Zords. See you next time.